as undeserving as I am and I was, He saved me anyways. Amen. I'm thankful that He made me a brand new creature. I didn't deserve it. Amen. But I didn't deserve Him dying. Amen. Giving His life for me. But I'm thankful that He done it anyways. Amen. Well, thank you musicians. Amen. We'll get into the Word of God this morning. If you have your Bibles. We'll go to uh, 1 Timothy 4, chapter, uh, chapter number 4, verse number 12. Chip God to hear the Word. God ask you to speak, God, as only you are able to do. Give me the words to say, God. Not let it be me speaking, God. But you speak through me, God. Help me to deliver. But you have given me to deliver unto the church this morning. Deal with each and every heart. In Jesus' name. Amen. You can be seated. Amen. And uh, this scripture, uh, the First Timothy four and twelve, the latter part of. Uh, amen. Uh, not the very first part of let no man despise thy youth. Wonderful part there, but this uh, this latter part of it. But be thou an example uh, of the believers in word, conversation, in charity, in spirit in faith, in purity. Amen. The Lord just kind of dealt with me this week. and Amen. Personally, I believe. Amen. And then, uh, amen, dealt with me also for a corporate, for the corporate body of believers that we should be a right example, that we be yes. thou, be thou an example today. That's what we're going to talk about being a example. Amen. We must have be the right example. Amen. We've been preaching and it's not necessarily on the, uh, on the series I've been preaching, but amen, we have been preaching about enduring game, and do we have what it takes to endure, amen, but I'm going to tell you how we handle crisis and, and, and where our enduring, amen, will be an example to others, amen, it'll show an example to others, amen, of how to endure. I want to tell you, if I don't endure, if I don't handle crisis right, if I don't endure right, if I don't handle persecution right it's going to be in a bad example to others but I'll stand firm in the persecution within crisis within the hardship I do believe this will be a good example unto others amen, amen. I want to be an example amen just three th places we are an example three p groups of people we are to be an example to I do believe this is a biblical principle here amen first of all to our family. We are to be an example to our family. Amen to, to our extended, amen to our immediate and extended family. We should be an example unto our family. I don't, I don't want when my, son, my children see me and my wife sees me. I don't I want them to see Jesus in me. Every time I discipline them 
children. I don't want them to see, amen, that their daddy is angry. I want them to see that Jesus is unpleased with wickedness and sin. I want to when my family sees me, when my wife sees me make a decision, I want her to know that I saw the will of God for that decision. I want to be an example of what Jesus would do. That's good preaching. Amen. Husband, you are to be an example of that family and how Jesus would, would do it. Amen. And I'm going to tell you this too. Amen. There's times, amen, if you're wrong, amen, admit that you're wrong in, that, in, in a situation. Be willing to apologize. Amen. Don't be, don't make you be a macho by not apologizing. Be an example. Amen. Apologize. Amen. To handle. Amen. I'm going to tell you, but amen, be willing to be an example. Amen. Seek the will of God about every decision that you make. Know that it's the will of God before you make that decision. Amen. That's an example of that life. Of them children. It's an example. Amen. Of, of what Christ would do. That's good. Amen. Of the, having the mind of Christ. I want the mind of Christ that my family see Jesus in me. Amen. My, what, what a very important job to every husband and father is to disciple that family. Amen. I want my children to be everything that they need to be. But if I'm not an example to them, it's going to be much harder for them to be what Jesus wanted them to be. Amen. They're going to have a bad example. If I'm a bad example, Example, amen, and they're going to see. Amen, if that's what Jesus is, I don't want nothing to do with it. I don't want my family to see that. I want my family to say, amen, my dad was a true Christian, and I want what he had. I want to walk as he walked. I want to preach as he preached. I want to live holy like he lived holy. I want to be what he was. Amen. We must be an example to our family, to our extended family. Amen. I want, amen, my family to see Christ in me. I want my lost brother to see Christ in me. Amen. I want my lost family to see Christ in me. I want my Christian family to see Christ in me. I want everybody that I encounter to see Jesus in me. We must be an example. Amen. We are to be an example to the church. Amen. I will tell you, you are, amen, no matter what you think, somebody's watching you in the church. Amen. Somebody's wondering, amen, watching your every move in the church. Amen. Are you being a good example to the believers in the church? Amen. Lord, help me as a leader to be an example. Amen. But I'm going to tell you an example. Amen. A leader is not only, not the only one that is an example. Amen. Little children, watch them that are older. Amen. Are you being a right example on how to handle authority? How to do amen? How to make decisions? How to be faithful to the local assembly? How to get into altars and seek God? Are you being a right example unto them others that are in the church? To the weaker. Amen. I'm going to tell you, amen. Amen. The Lord's dealt with me about this this week. Help me to be an example as I pray in the altars. I don't want to just give up after a few minutes. I want to be an example to the rest of the church. Amen. Help me to be that right example. Be an example to all that is in the church. Amen. And how to conduct ourselves in the house of God. How to live. Amen. How to be holy. Amen. Be an example. Yes. Amen. And to the lost, we are to be an example. The lost see, the lost see us, especially if you, if we, if you focus on evangelism and you're sharing the gospel with them, which every Christian should share the Lord, our Lord Jesus Christ with everyone that they encounter. That they, Amen. They should be, a, they should be a witness. They should, Amen. Every Christian should preach this gospel to the sinner. Amen and amen. We are to be an example unto them. 
Amen. Whether you believe it or not, they're watching us. Amen. What a convicting thing it was that I went to the Sodomite thing in Houston. Amen. Convicting for most of the church. Amen. To see the state that the church is in. Amen. A few years ago, there was 30 preachers out there preaching the gospel. But amen, there was just a handful of us. Amen. Maybe five of us. Amen. At the beginning of the day preaching. Then amen. One sinner come and said, there used to be so many more preachers. Where did everybody go? Amen. That's an amen. What a terrible example that truly is. Amen. What a terrible represent, uh, represent, uh, representation of the Lord Jesus Christ that truly was. At one time, 30 people probably standing in a barricade of different preachers. Amen. Coming from all over the state of Texas to stand for Jesus against perversion. Amen. And now, amen. There's just, amen, just a handful of us out there doing it. Yeah. Amen. What a terrible example that was. The lost see us. Amen. If, amen. If I don't go to Salem, Houston, the lost, amen, are going to see. Amen. If, amen. He, he, he fizzled out after a few years. He's been preaching here since 2014, but he fizzled out after a few years. I must be an example to the lost that I'm going to stand for Jesus no matter what it costs me. Amen. We must be an example unto the lost. Yes. Amen. What kind of example are you? Amen. Are you an example of carnality or godliness? Amen. Our oh, Lord help us never to be an example of carnality. Amen. I don't want somebody sees me say that guy, he's so carnal. Amen. Amen. I've looked at some people that are supposed to be Christians, and my thought is, man, those people are carnal. Amen. What a terrible example that truly is. Amen. I don't want when people see me to see a foolish person. Amen. It's all that never can be serious about nothing. I want when somebody sees me to see Jesus Christ in me. An example of a godly man. Sure. Amen. There's times that we that, that we do humorous things, that we say humorous things, that's not a sin. But I'm going to tell you, amen, I don't want when somebody sees me to really see carnality in me. And say, amen, that guy always had a joke, amen, but amen, he really never had nothing spiritual to say. I've seen people in church that are like that. Amen, I don't want when somebody sees me to see that. I want them to say, that was a godly man. I've seen Jesus in him, and I want to walk with Jesus as he walked with Jesus. Amen. Amen. We need to be an example of godliness, never carnality. Amen. I don't want my children to see me. They say, all he ever focused was, I was on the carnal things. Amen. He always only focused on the things of the flesh, the things that, amen, appealed to him. Amen. I want when my children to see me, to see an example of godliness. I want when the church sees me to see an example of godliness. I want when the world sees me to see an example of godliness. Amen. Amen. An example of unstableness or faithfulness. Amen. I don't want when somebody sees me. Amen. To say, amen, that guy was up one minute, down the other. I see plenty of people like that in the church. But I'm going to tell you, amen, we must be an example of stableness, of uh, of, of faithfulness, of consistency. Amen. I look at certain men, amen, and say, man, that man stay consistent. I want to be like that man of God. Amen. That man never wavered. I want to be like that man. Amen. We must be an example. Amen. The world's watching us. Amen. They're going to see if we're willing to waver on anything. If I go out to say Houston State University and I've wavered amen on anything that I've ever stood. Amen. Sure, I could be wrong about certain things. Amen. About especially like in time prophecies and different things. But I want to tell you, wavering on the core doctrine of this Word of God. If this Bible says it, I must be willing to stand on it. I've told men that they must repent and turn away from all sins. But I go out there and say, well, God understands if you sin a little bit. God understands if you have lust in your heart. I've wavered and they men is a bad example unto the lost. Amen. I must be willing to stand firm. Yes, Faithful, consistent, 
stable. Amen. Before the for my family, the church, and the lost. I must be willing to stand as that. What we must be an example in. Paul, Apostle Paul gave some, he made some things here to Timothy. The young, the young Timothy is an elder, is an example to Timothy. Amen. What a wonderful example of Apostle Paul truly is. Amen. As I will read his writings. Amen. What a wonderful example he truly is. Amen. He, I want to follow him as he followed Christ. Amen. But amen. Be an example in word. Amen. I want to be an example in my knowledge of the word. I want to be an example, amen, in my love, for, for uh, mostly even my love for this word because I love the author of this word, Brother Persinger preached it so well. I don't want to just read this Bible just to read this Bible. I want to do it because I'm looking to Jesus and I'm in love with Jesus. I want to be an example and a love for the word of God. And amen, when anybody looks at me, they say, amen, that man, all he ever tells me, the Bible says. Yeah. Amen. Uh, some people want to insult you by saying that. It's never an insult, an insult to say, all that man brings me to is the Bible. Yeah. Amen. They tell me all the time on Salem Houston State University. Amen. Or different colleges I preached on, especially Salem Houston. I preach there more than anywhere. Amen. They say, well, amen. All the, amen. Uh, would you just step away from the Bible? Amen. And just tell me your opinion. Amen. I'm going to tell you, thank God that they think all I cling to is the Bible. Amen. I want to be a Bible clinker. Amen. The one man told me the bread. You're just say you're just Bible bound. Amen. He said, that's the greatest compliment anybody's ever gave me. Lord, help me to think that I'm just bound by the Word. I want to be an example in my love for the Word of God. My knowledge of the Word of God. My studying of the Word of God. Amen. Amen. Everything to do with the Word of God, I want to be an example. I want to be an example of preaching the Word of God. Amen. I want to be known as a Word preacher. I don't want to be known as a fancy preacher. I don't want to be known, amen, as an elaborate preacher. I just want to be known as somebody that stands and clings to the Word of God. Yeah. That's the best example you can have. I want my children to see me. To say, Amen. All, amen. All he tells me is the Bible says about this. Amen. Amen. As I discipline my children, I try to give them the Word of God. Amen. As I talk to my children, I try to give them the Word of God. Amen. Noah asks me lots of questions. Amen. Thank God for that. Amen. And I try to give him a biblical answer for every question. Amen. He started talking to me about the King James Bible today. Amen. And I just, amen. It gave me a great opportunity to share. Amen. Why God gave us a preserved word of God. Amen. I want to tell you, we must give a biblical and be willing right. to be an example in the word of God. Amen. Amen. Not tell our opinions. I don't want to be an example in my opinions. Amen. Amen. It'd be very easy for me to be an opinionated person. Amen. But I want to tell you, I don't want my opinions really doesn't matter. It only matters what God, what God has said. said. If God said it, that's what I'm going to stand on. Amen. Be an example in conversation. How important this truly is here. Amen. We, man, our, our, our conversations could very easily become carnal. Amen. Very easily become fleshly. Amen. We must be aware of this. Amen. What? Amen. There's such warnings in the Word of God of carnality in conversation. I do believe we, better, we need to be ever so careful not to ever step in to carnality in our conversation. Not to let a wicked communication ever come out of our mouth. Amen. For 1 Corinthians 15, 33, be not deceived. Evil communication, corrupt good manners. Amen. First, uh, 2 Timothy 2, 16, but shun profane and vain babblings, for they will increase unto more ungodliness. Amen. Matthew 12, 36, but I say unto you that every idle word that man, that man 
man shall speak, they shall give an account thereof in the day of judgment. Amen. Ephesians 4 and 29. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good and uh, uh, is good to the use of edifying, and of that it may minister grace unto the hearers. Amen. You can go to James 3, Amen, 2 through 12, and it gives a warning of an unbridled tongue. Amen. We must beware of letting, Amen, be a bad example in what we talk about. Amen. amen. Lord, help me never, Amen, to, to ever speak to one another. Amen. I, amen. I, if people see you, do they truly see oh, the love of the Lord Jesus Christ in you? Amen. A love for the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I'm going to tell you when men see me, I want them to say, hey, I see. Amen. They may never admit it, but he do, does everything that he does because he loves Jesus. Amen. Then he loves others. Amen. I'm going to tell you, I, my primary goal is not for men to see a love for them. My primary goal is for men to see a love for the Lord Jesus Christ. We know the primary qualifications, as I've said, Vance Havner said, the primary qualifications for a minister, a missionary, is not a love for souls, but a love for the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I want them to see a love for Jesus in me. And I go to San Houston State University on Thursday to declare the glorious gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. I want them to say, I know that man loves Jesus. Yes, Amen. I, he stands for what he does. And then I want them to say, I know that man cares about me. Amen. They may never admit it. Amen. Sure, there's going to be the mockers out there that's just going to bring false accusations against you. Amen. But I want to say, that man consistently come to me and told me the truth and I know he cared about me. They're going to think about this on Judgment Day. Amen. And they're going to think about this as they go back to their dorm room, apartment, whatever they live in. They're going to go and going to think about this man. They spent a lot of spent his whole day out there Sharing the Lord Jesus Christ. If you'll go to if you go, Amen, Water Burger, Amen. He hands somebody a track. Tell them Jesus wants to save you. Amen. Jesus will keep you from hell if you'll repent. Amen. I'm gonna tell you, Amen. They're gonna think about that. Somebody took their time out of their day to share Jesus Christ with them. Somebody set their own bashfulness aside to give me and the Lord Jesus Christ. They're gonna think about that. They're gonna know. That you love Jesus and you love them. Amen. Amen. Be an example in charity and love. Be an example to the church in love. Be willing to be a help to them that love Jesus. Be willing. Amen. If you see somebody needing help spiritually, be willing to pray for them. Be willing to go to them and say, I love you and I'm praying for you. Be willing to be financial help in the Lord. Amen. Supplies and means to do so. Be willing to be physical help. Amen. It's not about at all about us. Amen. Brother Persinger said in marriage, amen, it's a miserable marriage if it's all about the one of the, uh, amen, one of the spouses. Amen. I'm going to tell you it's miserable in a church. It's one person thing is selfish and thinks it's all about them. Amen. Be willing to be a help to them That's that good. need help in the church. Amen. In every way, be willing to be a help. Don't just look for do your own selfish things, but be show charity in everything. Amen. Lord, help us to show charity. Amen. I wish I could say in every situation I've shown the proper, I've been a great example in the charity. But I amen. To my own shame, I probably have it at every time. But by the grace of God, we can be a right example yes. in this area. What an important area to be an example in. Amen. And it doesn't mean that somebody's not showing charity because they warn you. Amen. I do believe love truly warns. Amen. So, amen. That is showing charity as well. Be char Amen. Be an example in spirit. Amen. In walking in the spirit. Amen. I want to be an example of walking in the spirit. Amen. I've seen certain men, amen, that has been an example to me and amen, the Lord allows at the end of the message I'm going to go through some of this. Amen. If this been an example to me. Amen. But walking in the spirit. Amen. They've been an example to me. I've seen them walk in the spirit and not get 
get into the flesh. Amen. And not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Amen. Hey, Lord, help us to be an example of somebody walking in the Spirit. If you're, amen, if you're walking in the Spirit and being an example there, you're going to be an example in keeping the right Spirit. Amen. Lord, help us. That's something that is, amen, that's a battle that we have to, oh, amen, that we have to battle every day. This flesh doesn't want to keep the right Spirit. I have to bring this flesh under subjection to the Holy Ghost to keep the right Spirit. Amen. Amen, brother. A person who mentioned Friday night, amen, if they mess your hamburger up, do you keep the right Spirit? Lord, help me to keep the right Spirit. If they put mayonnaise on my burger, when I ask for mustard, help me to keep the right Spirit. When somebody spits in my face, help me to keep the right Spirit. When somebody stands up the knife, amen, in my back, whether it be, amen, uh, that be figuratively, or amen, even if it would be literally, help me to keep the right Spirit. Lord, help us keep the right Spirit in everything. Amen. The spirit we have towards any situation, towards authority, amen, towards our brother and sister in Christ, amen, is going to be an example to others. Amen. How you handle authority will be an example to others. Amen. Amen. As authority approaches you, Lord, help me to be an example to others. As I'm preaching out there, as the amen, as the law enforcement comes, help me to be an example to others. How I deal with law enforcement. They are an authority. Amen. Help me to be an example. Children, be an example to others. How you treat your parents. Amen. Be an example in authority. Be an example how you handle and deal with your brother and sister. In Christ, be an example. Be an example in how you deal with the lost. Be an example in every way. That's good preaching. God. Amen. Be an example in faith. Amen. How important it is to be an example in the, in the faith and trust of the Lord Jesus Christ. When men see you, say that man trusts this Jesus. Amen. I want to tell you, amen. Oh, hey, we must trust Jesus. We should all trust Jesus a little more than we trust Jesus. Amen. We should all rely on Him more than any, than any man. Amen. Amen. Everybody wants to look to man as the answer. Amen. The doctor has the answer. The psychiatrist has the answer. The pill bottle has the answer. Amen. The government has the answer to give me my money. The bank has the answer. The Federal Reserve. And none of it has the answer. We must put our trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. The President of the United States don't even have the answer. I don't want to rely on the government. I want to rely in the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. It doesn't matter if, amen, if the one of the worst presidents, amen, Beto O'Rourke wins president. My, amen, my trust is not in that president of the United States. Amen. Sure, I don't want Beto O'Rourke to be president of the United States. Amen. Lord, help us. To, amen. The only way we're going to show Christ and the only way anybody will ever have any confidence in you is that you be faithful. You say, well, amen, I've been unstable as water in the past. Well, be faithful now. Be consistent now. And I'm going to tell you, you can get that being example back again. Amen. I, amen. There's nothing made more, more of a bad example and put a bad taste in my mouth than unfaithfulness. Amen. I'm going to tell you, I, I, I have a hard time looking to somebody that can't be faithful to church, that can't be faithful to prayer, that can't be faithful to reading the Word of God, that can't be faithful to obeying God. I, amen. It puts a bad taste in my mouth more than anything. Amen. Inconsistency. Amen. And they're up one moment, then down the next. Amen. They're ready to just give up on everything one moment. And then the next day, they're amen. They're on fire for God and ready to conquer the world for God. Be faithful in everything that you do. Brother William Paul Persinger testified on, uh, on, uh, uh, on Friday night. Amen. It's not just in how we start. It's in how we finish. I'm going to tell you, in the end of my days, and the Lord carries is coming, I'm 80 years old. I want men to say, he's on fire, just as on fire for God as he was at 30 years old. I want him to say, or he's more on fire for God now than he's ever been. Amen. Let us be an example and consistency. 
Who should we look at as an example? Amen. The Lord. Um, um, uh, so many people look to the wrong places for examples. Amen. Amen. And they follow the wrong thing. Lord, help me to be at the look to the right examples. Amen. First of all, we should look to the Lord Jesus Christ. He is the perfect example in everything. Amen. We have such a high priest. We don't have such a high priest that cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities. Amen. But in all likewise was tempted as we are, yet without sin. What a perfect example the Lord Jesus Christ is. He must be our example and everything. Amen. As I look to the Lord Jesus Christ, that's what I need to be. As I read these Gospels, that's what I need to be. As I read that Word of God and see Jesus, that's exactly how I need to be. Yes, amen. 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 But there is men that we should follow. I've heard a lot of people say, Amen. You should never follow a man. Amen. I'm not following man. I'm following the Christ in the man. But I, amen. It's a biblical thing to be followers. Uh, amen. To follow them as they follow Christ. As first, uh, first Corinthians 11 and 1. Be ye followers of me. Paul was right. And even as all I also am of Christ. Amen. We must look to godly men and uh, to see them. Amen. And be an example. Amen. There is some qualifications for this absolutely. Amen. And these are some qualifications I look to. Amen. Amen. Those that have proved themselves to be faithful and consistent. Amen. If they haven't proved themselves to be faithful and consistent, I'm not going to look to them as an example. Amen. If they're not proven to be faithful to, uh, to God, faithful to their calling, faithful to the work of God, faithful to holiness, faithful to what's right, I'm not going to follow them. Amen. Follow them. Amen. That are proved, prove themselves to be faithful and consistent. Amen. The men that have shaped me and molded me in my walk with God. As I look over their lives, they was faithful. They all been faithful. And some of the late ones was faithful and consistent. Those who have walked in holiness. Amen. I want to I want to follow them that walks yes. in the closeness to the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Every man that has shaped my life, helped shape me and mold me into what I am today. I've I looked at and they've walked in holiness. Amen. The, amen. Those men who have stood in truth. Amen. They never waver. They don't waver from the Word of God. They don't waver from sound doctrine. Amen. They've been consistent in the truth of God's Word. Amen. If, if you're going to have somebody mold you, help out let them that are in the truth of the Word of God mold you. Amen. Those, amen, those that are in love, most of all, with the Lord Jesus Christ. That's the most vital thing, that they be in love with the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. There's so many other things I can say. Amen. And I've mentioned briefly, those that have been faithful to their calling. Amen. Those that have worked tirelessly for Jesus. Amen. That's the ones that I want to follow. Amen. I just kind of, this morning, uh, finish up. Uh, this morning is kind of a finishing up studying. Amen. Just thought of a, amen, a handful of people, uh, six people that has influenced my life in great ways. Amen. And I, amen, I thank God for these examples in my life. Amen. I thank God for my pastor, my dad, that has molded me into the man that I am today. Amen. I thank God for the godly example as he's led me. Amen. And pu he pushed me in the right direction. Amen. With Without men, amen, without a pastor, it's going to be it's very hard for somebody to push you in the right direction. Amen. That's why I have very little confidence in anybody that says they're a man of God and don't have an authority figure over their life. That don't go to a local church that's not don't have a pastor and don't let anybody 
Amen. Push them in the right way. Amen. I thank God for Brother Daniel Sweeney. Amen. A man that helped mold me yeah. to what I am today. And molded many into what, what, he is, what they are. Amen. Help mold my dad into what he is. Amen. I was a great leader to many, to myself. My dad included. My dad included. Was a great great in leadership. That me, Amen. He molded me. I want to tell you, Brother uh, brother uh, Brent Williams has helped mold me into what I am today. I've seen consistency. Amen. In evangelism and in holiness. Amen. In sound doctrine. Brother Victor Persinger, probably the most consistent holy man that I've ever met in my entire life. Amen. I, amen. I appreciate men as this. Amen. Brother Clint Denning. Amen. Has helped mold me to what I am today. And so many. Amen. I thank God for these men. Amen. A man that I never met. Amen. But amen. I have great respect for this going on. And I believe with all my heart that he's in heaven. Amen. Little Raven Hill. Amen. Amen. Men like this has molded me to the man that I am today. Amen. I will tell you, amen, anybody that says, I don't need a man to help mold me, amen, is foolish. Amen. How foolish it truly is. I need godly authority, godly leadership, godly example to help mold me. Amen. I'm going to tell you, none of these men that I said, and none of these men even in the Word of God, amen, are any special breed except the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. He's God. Amen. But I'm going to tell you, amen, none of these men, Apostle Paul, John the Revelator, amen, any of these other great men of God, they was, uh, they're no special breed of people. Brother Clinton, it wasn't any special breed of people. Amen. Brother, amen. My dad is no special breed of person. Brother Daniel, Sweeney, they was all men. Of, amen, brother Brid, brother Persinger, Leonard Raven Hill. They all, they're all men of God. But in the, amen, amen. But they're no special breed of people. But God, amen, has used them because they made themselves available to be a good example. Amen. If we'll just make ourselves available unto God, we can be that example as well. Amen. We just must make ourselves available unto Him to be that example. Amen. Let's stand to our feet. Amen. Amen. If you have been a bad example,